Hi, this is the National Weather Service office in Medford, Oregon with a smoke impacts briefing, August 29th, and it's around 5.30 p.m. I want to emphasize that we do regularly collaborate with uh, other agencies, other partner agencies, uh, to keep tabs on the smoke and air quality uh, that results from that. So let's start with the main points first. And, you know, why do a smoke impacts briefing? What, what are the impacts? Well, here are the impacts. Uh, lots of smoke generates poor air quality across the region. And the air quality generally became degraded uh, in early August. Uh, but there has been some, some degraded air quality in July. But recently, we've had the, the worst air quality from the increasing smoke. And you can see on the left, it's Jackson County, kind of a collective for Jackson County air quality observation sites. You can see the number of days of unhealthy for sensitive groups, unhealthy, very healthy, very unhealthy and hazardous uh, here, those numbers to the right. And then as you move to Klamath County, which uh, much of this is dictated by uh, Klamath Falls, but there's also uh, air quality observations in Chiloquin. And here you can see how many days have been impacted. So we're heading into, you know, f about four weeks of uh, some air quality impacts in the area. The main ideas for this briefing, we want to just focus on the uh, weather patterns and what we expect over the next several days. And then after this, I'll go into some details about where the fires are, what their uh, heat is observed recently, uh, air quality, and go into some graphics show where the smoke we expected to go in the next few days. So in general, we've had two main weather patterns that have affected smoke movement and the concentration across the area. And basically it's either whether we have disturbances, cool fronts, or in between them. And Sometimes it's a long time in between disturbances in the summertime, but in between these disturbances or cool fronts, uh, we generally have lighter winds and maybe some northeast winds at night. Smoke can accumulate more because the lighter winds and it spreads over a broad area in the forecast area. Then when we have a cool front move by or a disturbance aloft in the atmosphere, we get generally get stronger winds and better mixing. So the atmosphere mixes the smoke up uh, and it clears the air out. And smoke in these situations generally pushes from west to east or northwest to southeast. So we're beginning to transition to the second pattern with increasing west winds through Wednesday. And that means some improvement around Jackson and Josephine counties. Still expect some smoke to impact, but ge generally better and maybe less uh, Long, uh, less duration of significant smoke or more periods of better air quality. And then, but along the Cascades and east, a lot of this smoke will push east of the fires and affect those areas occasionally uh, through Wednesday. And finally, until the fires end, whether this be from containment or rainfall, we will have continued smoke impacts, unfortunately. Uh, average for the first quarter inch rainfall in Medford is September 24th. That gives you an idea. Models suggest, you know, there's some small signal uh, of some rainfall more towards Roseburg and North uh, next weekend. But again, small chance at this point, maybe perhaps more favorable past, uh, out past seven days. So let's get into uh, the just show where the fires are right now uh, that are affecting, you know, that are bringing smoke into the region. And here's uh, just a, a locally developed map that we have that shows air quality and the heat, uh, satellite observed heat on the uh, fires and the more red colors represent the more recent heat, uh, and the lighter colors, lighter dots represent older heat, like three days old or so. So, as we 
you know, we'll move north. We'll see uh, some of the more active fires. Uh, the rough patch complex is generating some heat. Uh, a lot of folks are, are working on those fires. And then uh, the, the fire that's generating the most smoke, it seems, in terms of um, our forecast area is, uh, which is Douglas County southward, the, the Smith fire, part of the um, Devil's Knob complex. And you can see all the, the recent heat showing up there, very active. And that's, you know, pushing smoke to the east and south. You can see the air quality is now, uh, I think that's very unhealthy into Jackson County, the purple color. And now we're going to push south to the fires in Siskiyou County and the McCash fire. Lots of heat showing up on satellite there and the river complex as well. And Antelope, uh, less, less heat showing up here. But lots of uh, smoke impacts in terms of air quality continue because of the smoke inundating the area. Take a look at a satellite imagery, and I just want to emphasize where to get this satellite imagery. So if you go to our homepage, weather.gov forward slash Medford, click on radar and satellite, and then satellite tab here. And typically the geo color shows the best imagery for the uh, smoke. But if you're interested in fire temperature, you can click on that as well. But I'm going to look at the um, the geocolor imagery. And here it is looping. So you can see all the fires to our north and believe that's the, the Smith fire part of the Devil's Knob complex, which is pumping out the most smoke right now. And you can see here why we have such poor air quality in, in the Medford region currently. And then you go further south, you can see the smoke moving kind of west to east. But you do see that we have a dry, uh, cool front moving into the region. Uh, it's going to arrive tomorrow, and you can see the winds are beginning to push that smoke towards the south and eastward with time, and that's going to yield some better conditions. All right, uh, I just want to bring up again the uh, fire.airnow.gov. I'll show you where to find that link, but if, if you're not familiar, the uh, circle sites are the most highly maintained Department of Environmental Quality sites, and you can click on one of them. We'll go to Shady Cove. It can show you what it is, maybe the actions you would take, uh, recommendations. It's the unhealthy category, and you can go down to the fifth dot here, and you can see the recent history. So you can see the trends over time. So very, very useful site here, and you mouse over and see the time where that is. The smaller squares are the lower cost sensors, but they can also uh, provide some insight into air quality in the region, but should generally be trusted a little less than the uh, more maintained sensors. Okay, let's now go to the quickly to the um, wildfire safety smoke link page. That's at the bottom. If you go uh, to our homepage, you click on the smoke and wildfire safety. That will show, provide the, um, uh, the latest HER smoke model run. And we've just added an extended run, which goes out about 48 hours, surface smoke extended. If you click on that, you can see the latest run available that goes out that far is from 11 a.m. But you can play that, and we'll just magnify and watch it. Uh, we'll stop this evening. You can see smoke pushing, uh, the worst smoke uh, pushing to the east, south and east with time. This uh, kind of the looks like just green area that represents little to no smoke. Um, you can see on the legend here, it's, it's no color. And then the gray re represents less smoke. As you head into the greens, uh, you might think that means good, but it doesn't. It's getting more and more smoke than the yellows and reds are worse. So the legend up here should help you identify the impacts. We had a question about that earlier, so I wanted to identify that. You can see overnight, we'll just pause it tomorrow morning. For those that might want to open windows, 
and enjoy the cooler air at night. Uh, you can see generally west of I-5 might have the best chance for that north of Siskiyou County. We'll pause tomorrow afternoon. So this, this run goes out fur, farther in time, further in time, so you can see, and it looks like improving generally uh, in most areas tomorrow afternoon uh, away from the immediate fires. So of course, if you're right near the fires, you're going to be experiencing smoke. And then this goes out a little further all the way until tomorrow or Tuesday morning. You can see here generally the same picture, um, generally improving conditions. We're going to go back to our slides here and we'll finish this up with uh, just some safety advice. This is the California Air Resources Board. I thought this image was very useful. Shows some good, especially the running the air conditioning on recirculate and making sure those filters are changed frequently. So thanks for your time. That does it for our smoke impacts briefing.